Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. We're doing your October 5 to 6. Are you ready? We're gonna keep discussing about Jupiter going to Scorpio. I want you guys to be ready. Vedic ideal tropical, it goes to Scorpio, okay? It's coming soon. And you're gonna get tired of me saying that because I want you guys to embrace that energy coming your way. That's the only thing that we need to do is to embrace it, okay? Let's see though. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. The coffee is already inside me, so there is no good morning, America. Good morning, world. It's already here. Okay. Here we go. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. In Vedic Sidereal. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, here we go. Can be connecting with a Piscean. Okay. Just saying. A Piscean or someone who's ruled by Saturn, which is a Capricorn and Aquarian. Because two of pentacles for me is uh, Uttara Badrapra. Badrapa. Okay. That's a two of pentacles. That's a nakshatra. Someone who is hard to sway. They sway the way that they want to sway. They change that they want to want to... See? They, they, they change when they want to change. Can't do something about this person. They're not stubborn like a Ruhini. Okay. But I'm not sure why Rohini is stubborn, but that's what they say. <laughs> because the transformation that this person has to go through is from within. They're saying also that this transformation is going to happen in this time of October 11, okay, towards the next cycle in the next five months. I'm sorry, I just have to be literally, you know, 111 here. Saying the months and the day, okay? Now. It's either you or this person is going to go through the transformation. Okay. The person is enlightened. Or you are. The person has wisdom. The person has a different view of life. Or you are. Empress. Mm. Here we go. Venus. Here we go. Entering the house. Dear Venus. Okay. What are you doing right now? Venus is in October 4th, retrograde. What is going on? It's in the house of Swati. Okay? Libra. Okay? Interesting. Because as this person... Oh, yeah. That's the transformation right there. That's a Swati energy. They sway like this. You see my bamboo over here? Okay? It grows the way it wanna grow. You can't dictate how it's, it's gonna grow, but it grows. You just gotta be nurturing, loving, caring. Commitment cycle, yes. Getting what you have wanted, yes. Can be a Taurus or a Libra. Here we go. Next to the Two of Pentacles. Three of Wands. What you expect is coming. Wait for the sunshine, it will come. The sun always comes, okay? Um, as a three of wands energy, you have a high, not high energy, high expectation. <laughs> so you're waiting for this person to come. They will come towards you. It's a commitment that, because right now I don't, I don't understand why the Ven why Empress is really commitment. Like it really just wants to commit. <laughs> okay, not sure why. <laughs> they just want to commit. <laughs> okay. There's oh here we go. Seven of Cups with the Empress. Cause I'm dreaming of you tonight Till tomorrow I'll be holding you tight When there's no one else I'd rather Yep, so I got, got Mariah in the house But when it comes out, it's more like It's not Mariah Inside, yes <laughs> They've been dreaming Seven of Cups Illusion? Scary? Night? Oh Nightmares. Someone could have probably recently have a nightmare. Okay. Scratch that. Nightmare is just a nightmare. But it is really an omen. Okay. So if you had a recent nightmare, it's an omen. And this is Venus retrograde. Oh. Okay. Please watch. Okay. I haven't seen it, but KRS channel, of course. Okay. Well, you know, it might reveal, because Venus retrograde for him in his title, in his channel, okay, KRS, okay. I'm, I don't know the person, okay. It was in my feed before I slept, okay. And it was about an omen in your dream. So you probably receive 
some sort of omen in your dreams. Okay? Symbol, sign, synchronicity. Dreaming of something. Someone is dreaming to be in partnership with you. They're connecting with you in your dreams. This Rahu, soulmate, of course. Karma, meaning. 1-7, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Why Gemini? This would be Taurus. Okay. So, some would be dealing with a Gemini and the 7 is the Taurus. I don't know where that come from. <laughs> I just talked to them. <laughs> That's why I asked them. <laughs> 7 of Pentacles. Waiting. More waiting. Tired? No. I see here is worth. They just need to wake up. Have they been awakened? I don't know. You tell me. Because this is a star card. Mm -mm -mm. Is it sugar coated? No. It's a nightmare right here, but they have awakened. Okay. You're connecting with someone who was a nightmare. But now they're not a nightmare. They're a wish fulfillment. Seven of Pentacles with the star card. Aquarian energy. This is also dreams. I believe 11th house is also. But it's more of getting and living your dreams. Because 12th house is dreams, if I'm not mistaken. But 11th house is dream, dream. Dream, 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 dream. Expect more signs, symbols, synchronicity with this person. Expect more guidance. The universe is going to be talking to you directly. Okay? I see it here. The Lord is Jupiter and Scorpio is crazy. Okay? <laughs> It's just like my mind is woke, okay? And it's always been woke. Someone who used to drive an old truck that you're connecting with also. Very old truck, very, very old truck, okay? Um, um, either you or this person limps when they walk. I don't know who's limping, but there's definitely someone is limping, okay? Uh, your right eye will be twitching when you meet this person or you have met this person. Something is in your right eye. Not sure what that is, but someone, something is. The wait is over. That's what I'm sensing here. Venus is here. Saturn is uh, here also. So it's a big... This can be a... Sat oh, I know what that is. Saturn and Venus conjunct. They're the bros. Okay? Sitting in the same house when we say it, right? Saturn will try to restrict Venus, but Venus would just convince Saturn. It's like, come on, bro. Give this one to me. Saturn will just say, all right. Since we good together, we good, we good. I give this one to you. Saturn is restriction, but Venus is not restrictive. Venus is giving, loving. So basically... This is someone that's going to be granted towards you because the planet says so. Not me. It is up to them. Okay? <laughs> the transit is stalking. Okay? That's what they say here. You waited long enough and something is coming towards you. Amazeballs. Okay? So I'm going to continue this reading for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Vedic Sidereal. Check the calendar. Check your chart. It would help you. So you're not guessing. You're not putting in the comments, what am I, what am I, what am I? It's not a guessing game. The information is out there, Jupiter and Scorpio. We gotta, we gotta live up to Jupiter and Scorpio, okay? It's revelation of the wisdom of the esoteric. You will be woke in this transformation. You got me. Alrighty! Have a wonderful, wonderful new year. It's gonna be a new year for us soon. Okay, October 11th, that's our new year. Time to celebrate. I'll see you guys again. I'll continue this. The moment is... Um, I would call the the wait is over. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye.